Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Lady Nika, and with some more celebrity news and gossip, child. Looks like Nicole Murphy can add backpedaling and pussy popping to her uh, repertoire of th uh, her resume of work, honey, because she is now apologizing for kissing married director Anton Fuqua. Okay, she has changed her tune. Now, y'all know I'm going to link this article down in the uh, pinned comment so you can go over and read it for yourself. But let me just give you a little snippet of what Miss Nicole had to say. After being photographed as kissing married director Antoine Fuqua in, Mur in Italy, Murphy had initially brushed off rumors of impropriety. But on Wednesday, in a statement to TMZ, Murphy apologized for her actions. Without going into the entire situation, I want to apologize to my family and to the Fuqua family, Leela, and uh, for what has transpired, she said. It was not my intention to be in this situation. I do not condone women kissing or interacting in any way inappropriately with a married man. I too was once married and I would never intentionally undermine another woman, despite what has been written. Sources told TMZ that Murphy, who was previously married to comedian Eddie Murphy, was under the impression that Fuqua, had, who has been married since, to Roshan since 1999, was single. When the photos were first published, Murphy said, Antoine and I are just friends. I ran into him in Italy, and we exchanged a friendly hello, and that was it. Now, Fuqua shares two children with Roshan, a daughter, age of 16, Brando, 15, Fuqua also has a son, Zachary, from a previous relationship. Murphy shares five children with Eddie Murphy. Son, Miles, 26, daughter, Bria, 19, Shane, 24, Zola, 19, and Bella, 17. Child, but in other news dealing with this, the brats say that this ain't the first time Nicole then stepped out with a married man. Remember, her and Lisa Ray are sisters. And she said that her sister husband was coveted by Nicole Murphy before. So everybody is really coming down on Nicole for this situation. And I'm going to tell y'all straight up, I don't believe what Nicole Murphy is saying. She's not sorry for what she did. She's sorry, she sorry that she was caught. That's what it was. You didn't assume that this man was divorced. That's a lie from the piece of hell and one likely lie that most people who get caught up like to tell. But we're not here for the lie, Nicole. You, you disrespected that woman's marriage. And I can't go down on her without giving him a little bit too. He ain't, he ain't shh type of dude too because you know you married to this woman. Now y'all may have been having problems in your marriage. She might have let herself go weight wise. Y'all may even be separated, but separation does not necessarily get negate divorce. And you owed her enough, you owed her respect to at least keep your shenanigans to yourself and be a little bit more discreet until the marriage is absolved. Now, I don't know if, if this is the road to divorce for Leela and Antoine. Who knows? Uh, from what I did some research on, this ain't the first time he done stepped out and she stayed. But see, I want to talk to the women right now and the men who find themselves in situations like that. I am a forgiving person and I believe in second chances. But I'm not going to give you too much of a second chance, okay, when it comes to situations like this right here. This is a di total disrespect to the vows he made to this woman. And if he feels like at this point... He no longer wants to honor his vows, then divorce her. And in the meantime, in between time, keep your other dealings discreet. Don't put it out on public display for her to have to deal with because everybody don't know the status of y'all marriage. And if, in fact, you guys are separated, as I heard that you were, then he should have respected you enough to know that the public is not aware and not to embarrass you like that. You have to find love for yourself. Now, I've heard all kinds of rumors, all kinds of rumors, allegedly, about how abusive this man is. I don't know if it's physical or verbal, but abuse is abuse, and you don't have to stay in that. I looked at a, a current picture picture of Leela, and I was like, wow, she picked on a lot of pounds. She kind of let herself go. 
And sometimes, family, when a woman do that, that don't mean that she just greedy. That means that she unhappy. But I hope that this woman is able to find her happy again, find her self-worth, and walk away from this situation because this was very disrespectful. This was disrespectful, and I'm sorry if you have dealt with infidelity issues on his part before and you accepted and took him back, then you have to take part responsibility in what has transpired now because a man is only going to do what you allow. If you let him come back to you, if in fact that is the case, then you allowed him coming back knowing that there was a possibility that he could do this to you again, and clearly he has. Now, Nicole... She just gets me as a money-hungry bitch trying to lay it wherever she can. She trying to grab her bag. Mother time is setting in on her ass, and although her body may be banging, her face is very strong, okay? I kind of believe them rumors now that they used to be circulating about Eddie Murphy and them transgendered women because if you look at Nicole, she kind of look like a nigga in the face, too. She got a strong face, but at the end of the day, that was disrespect. And if you're going to be kissing and hugging on this man, you should have known the status of his marriage. But I don't believe that. I believe you knew because there are also sources that say that, th that you guys were seen more together multiple times overseas and in very compromising positions. So I I'm tending to believe you were totally aware uh, that that man was still married to Leela. And even if they were separated, you still should not have dealt with him publicly take the chance of being seen in public, being any kind of close to him other than, what, you know, beyond that which would be appropriate for a man to be around a woman who is married. You shouldn't have never crossed the line publicly. And this is not a good look. And again, like I said, history says Nicole does this type of thing. I don't know her personally, but I've heard the rumors over the years. And this only makes me believe that what the people say is true about her, that she don't have a problem with messing with other women's men. And you should, because I know you felt some kind of way when Eddie was doing it to you for years. So I don't know. I don't know. But that was the latest update on this entire Nicole Murphy, Antoine Fuqua, and Leela Rashawn triangle situation going on that's it that i have for today you guys get down in the panty section let me know your thoughts and your opinions on this entire situation and remember in closing as always the death of your struggle will determine the height of your success in the meantime in between time please remember to rate this video ratings get me recognized on the youtube streets comment down below in the panty A.K. come and sound off. What you got to say? I'm here for it today. And I got time. Okay? So sound off down there. Let me know what you think. And if you have not become a love thing today for the free 99 please hit your subscribe button today and also double tap your notification uh, bell so that it's set to all so that each and every time I drop a pre-recorded video or go live from this channel you guys will be notified and you can come over and join in the conversation also thank you again to everybody that came out to my live a little bit earlier today we had a good old funky time child it was a wang doodle uh, it was a good wang dang doodle of a time that I had with you guys. I really like being able to interact with y'all in real time and as the days and months go on I might be able to do it more and more and um, we can communicate with each other like that but thank you all for the support as always. Have a great remainder to your Wednesday. Remember that the TSCC Miss Express will be going live tonight with uh, episode 8 of our um, uh, our little panel that we do talk discussions y'all make sure you check out the TSCC Miss Express YouTube channel um, I will try to remember to link that in the pinned comments for you to go over and subscribe so that you can catch the episode tonight and as always y'all thank you for the support again and I will see you guys later peace